Hey there, it's uh, Terrence, and I wanted to give you an idea of what you can do with Anki in learning mode. It's another tutorial that I'm going to do, and I'm doing it because I had a question asked of me on uh, how to set up the steps and get more than two steps or three steps in Anki when reviewing in learning mode. So here we go, let's open up Anki. And first off, I need to explain to you that these new cards and even some of the do cards, um, they're not, you can't tell if they're mature from right here, but it, these cards in this row right here are immature, for sure. And what that means is that when you look at these cards, they're going to be in learning mode. And some of these will, if you've answered once or something, they'll be in learning mode too. Until you go through and get good and graduate a card to make it mature, it's going to be in learning mode. And what that means is it's going to abide by all of your new card rules here. So I guess let's go ahead and get into that. So I'm going to add an, a, an example deck here. And... Um, Let's go ahead and show you how to do the options for it. So all you do is click on this little pull down menu here and select options. For new cards, we're not going to mess with the views or lapses or general or anything like that for today. For new cards, this is the default number of steps it comes in. Two steps, one minute and ten minutes. And what that means is you hit good the first time you see a card. It will show up about one minute later. You hit good again. It will show up about ten minutes later, and then you hit good again, and you've graduated that card now to uh, a mature card. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. All you have to do in order to change this, you can do whatever. You can put it whatever you want in there. You just insert a space between the numbers, like I just did, and then you add another number, say 25 minutes. Or let's do it again. I'm gonna do three of them, so I can show you another thing that I wanted it's kind of important uh, 60 minutes and I'll make this 20 okay the order I still like I said before I like to have my cards in a in a random order it makes it more difficult to to remember them and uh, it's too if you have a card and you see the answer to it in the previous part, that can happen when you uh, show them in the order, in the, in the same order that you made them. Again, lots of reviews, 9,999 9, cards per day, because I medical school, lots of cards, got to do a lot of studying. This graduating interval here, this is the, after you've completed all these and hit good on all these, it will go this number of days and that's your graduating interval. It's going to wait one day after you've done all this to show you the card again. I personally like it the default set with one and ten and then uh, one minute, ten minute and then a day. But because it, any changes you make here can have drastic changes on the amount of review time that you will do. Uh, these, I mean, this is 44. I've got this deck, these decks, I mean, every one of my decks has between 100 and 400 cards in them. And if I had to go through it and wait, you know, to, to do it four, you know, four times before I can graduate a card, I would be here all day doing one deck. It really isn't feasible for me. For more difficult subjects, or if you have fewer cards, I can see changing this. And so, or, you know, it's something that you just can't really get, seem to get down. Then go ahead and change this to what you what you feel like it would be. Just remember, it does have a butterfly effect on anything else. All right, the easy interval. This is when you click easy on a card down here. Like you show it, you click easy. This is how many days it's going to wait to show you that card again. Yeah, I might even increase this because uh, it's when I click easy on a card, I know it without a doubt, and I don't ever want to see that card again. <laughs> well, I do. I just say. Uh, yeah. I don't want to see it for a long time, so you can increase this right here if you if you're not going and clicking easy all the time. Starting ease, okay. This is a little more complicated. What this is is if you click easy on a card to begin with, in the future you're going to see that card and you might just click good. This is going to increase the normal amount of the normal interval that it would be by twenty. 
two times, two point five times. So say I uh, a card normal. I haven't, I haven't seen a card in ten days. Well, I clicked easy on it, and I saw I've seen it ten days later, right? So the next time I see it, it's gonna be twenty five days till I see it again. Do you understand that? So that's that's how that works. So it's it's this times this percentage will give you the next. And we'll say like it's been 30 days, we'll, or 50 days, and 2.5 maybe, it would be, it then, it then would be 150 days till I saw that card again if I had this, if I hadn't seen the card for 50 days. Okay, again, I don't like to show sibling cards next to each other. And uh, to make a new group up here, that's all you have to do, I would suggest making a different group. I would not use the default group when doing this. I would just go ahead and say go ahead and uh, click add here and make a new group maybe call it difficult because uh that's what it, that's what you're going to use this deck for this this uh group for is a difficult stuff to memorize so that's what i did i have a default deck and a difficult deck now and i'm um, we'll gonna go ahead and click ok also keep in mind that you can change any one of these and change it right back. It's not permanent status for your deck. The uh, amount of times you put good and easy and stuff, that's kept on record by Anki for each particular card. But it, it does not, you can then subsequently pl place something into uh, your default group one day and then do it in your difficult group the next day because let's say you are having a bad day or you're not able to memorize stuff your brain's just not working that day and that happens to me so you can go ahead and you know you can switch this to whatever you can do it however you want to do it it's not a permanent effect okay so let's go ahead and make a card here an example and i'll show you this is difficult and we'll make, we'll do clothes because clothes is so easy to do. By far, one of the greatest things they made in make it too is how easy it is to make clothes called. Okay, I'll click add. And then I'll show you how to so study now. This is, oh, notice the green background? I was studying, I was studying my, uh, my deck the other day and uh, I stared at it so long. I mean, I'm on here almost most of the day studying. And uh, so my eyes just started killing me. Anyways, I looked up the most of, the most pleasing, you know, uh, for the eyes that I could get uh, for text and background. And it turns out that uh, white on green is, is one of the better background or text uh, and background color combinations. I don't know if you've ever noticed the, the road signs that you see. Most of them are white on green, and that's not by accident that they did that. Anyway, so this is blank. I want to say difficult. I got it right. Good. Okay, so you saw one. And then, oh, this is difficult. Okay. Now it's 20 minutes. Before it was 10 minutes. Now it's 20 minutes. If I hit again, it's going to go back to being 10 minutes here. Okay, this is the easy interval. I, and because I have more than two steps or three steps, it's going to go ahead and show this so I don't have to work through the whole. I don't have to go see the card four times before I can click easy. You can go ahead and click easy right off the bat and graduate any card you want right off the bat, no matter if it's. You know, got 20, 20 steps, you can go ahead and be able to hit uh, easy, which will graduate any card immediately uh, and make it a mature card. There's 20. Okay, good job. I got it right, right? So here it is. Let's go one hour. Good. Good. So I work. Thank you for watching. And uh, actually, there's one other thing I want to show you. There's the, the tools, preferences. This is the learn ahead limit. Now, if you happen to be working through a deck and you have five intervals. So, wait, so let me go back and show you. So I cannot, right now it says I'm done with studying this. Because, I, and I actually have one more, one more step to complete it to graduate it. So that's because this learn ahead limit is set at 20 minutes. If I set this at an hour, Let's do uh, let's do 70 minutes. So I, and I'll show you. Watch this card will come up now. Uh, 70 minutes. Now I can look at this card here and graduate it. The reason what that does, what this setting over here does, is just say, well, if you've gone through all your cards, and because you, you know you get to the end, 
do you, do you only want to see these? Do you not want to see a car within five minutes, or do you want to wait the exact five minutes to see it? This will allow you to look ahead a little bit, and 20 minutes is a good setting for that. But um, you know, if you're doing, if you have four cards and you want to graduate it by going through and looking at it four times, be my guest and add it and make this to whatever you need it to be to be able to see this card that I just showed you how to see. So then I can see that now it's one day. So it went from 20, it went from uh, 10 minutes here to went from one minute to 10 minutes to um, 20 minutes to 60 minutes. And then now you have a day and that will make it graduated. I would not have been able to see this card right here. It's supposed to wait uh, 60 minutes to see this card here. But because I changed the graduating or the uh, learn ahead limit, I was able to see this card here and I just needed to show you that because I guess if, if you have problems showing all the cards so you can only see three reviews or three steps and you're not seeing that last card that you want to see well that's why it's because you need to go ahead and go to tools preferences and change your uh, learn ahead limit so that you can learn further ahead it's I mean this really it should be fine at 70 minutes this really this one does not have drastic effects like the other one does Okay. Well, thank you for listening, and I hope you learned a lot, and uh, good luck studying and learning in life and uh, in your future.